the chief technologist. And what that means is my group is responsible for creating the new science, the new technologies, the new capabilities that we need to enable the exploration of the universe in the next decades. A lot of what we do at NASA is basically making the impossible possible. And in order to do that, we have to come up with approaches and, and ideas that just don't exist. So I'm gonna tell you now a little bit about what we're doing, how, how we do it, and how it affects you. So really NASA is about exploring all, everything from the surface of the Earth all the way to the observable universe. So that's, that's the entire world and universe around us in space, in distance, huge space, but it's also a huge amount of time. We're, we're exploring the entire existence and time of the universe. But when we talk about our, our telescopes looking into the deepest parts of the universe, we're also looking back in time, all the way to the beginning of the Big Bang. In order to do that exploration, we have a whole series of things. So everybody's probably heard about, um, again, you probably heard about rovers on Mars. Everybody heard about some of the rovers? Can any of the young folks tell me the name of one of the rovers on Mars? Any of you guys know the name of any of the rovers? You? Young man? Curiosity. Curiosity. That is correct. There you go. You get a pin. So we've got rovers on Mars. The way it works is it's the first thing you need to know is it's really, really difficult to get stuff into space because of the energy required to overcome Earth's gravity, right? So generally, we can put really big things, things that are the size that can carry humans. We can have those operating, obviously, in the atmosphere, the upper atmosphere, low Earth orbit all the way out to the moon and then we're, we're working on going on to Mars. And that's about, with our technology today, how far we can push very big objects that humans can occupy. Beyond that, we use these rovers, which are essentially kind of our scouts. They're intelligent machines that go ahead of the humans and we can send them further. We've sent those machines to Mars, we've sent them to every planet in our solar system, and they're really there doing the prospecting, kind of discovering what's there so that we can send humans afterwards and they're learning about all our planets. And beyond that, in the furthest distance out into, into the solar system, past our solar system into the galaxy and the rest of the universe, we use the telescopes. And they're able to look out into the universe way far away where we still can't send things, but we can learn a lot about distance objects by the, the information that comes to us. So that's kind of the range of things that NASA does. They're all related. And they kind of, what we're engaged in is really two things. One, we're working to develop technology that helps us to move that, that boundary further and further. How far can we send humans? How can we send robots further? And the telescopes even looking even further and keep moving our exploration outward. 